don't wear jeans much, but when she put them on today, I said, glory to God. Oh. Woo. So y'all excuse me. Cause we're gonna take a commercial break. I'm gonna put them back in that. I'm gonna put you back in that truck. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's head up to the house. Now, I do not care what anyone says. If my husband was chatting like that to me on YouTube and uploading it for the whole world to see, and this is not new, Justin does this all the time. There, there would be no marriage, okay? I'm not joking. He cringes me out so badly. That whole entire channel cringes me out. They're like the leeches of YouTube, okay? And I call them the leeches of YouTube because they quite literally clickbait just about anything. They even clickbaited the fact that one of their kids was like died even though that wasn't the case whatsoever and they also completely like they've also lied and told everyone that they'd actually lost a baby during birth which turned out to not even be the case anyway basically beyond the fact that they are just generally clickbaity and leechy and lie about really quite serious things they also just astound me with their content and um i feel like not not enough people really call them out i have come across some channels recently um i think her name's tori or tony i've come across a few channels recently who do highlight the problems with this family and i've made a few videos in the past addressing this such as their clickbaitness the fact that they do quite literally lie about really quite extreme things um they're always saying that there's a massive problem when there isn't and just generally just being extremely money hungry and you can tell that they definitely get a lot of their like editing ideas or just styles of uh like video format they get it from you know other family channels you can tell the problem that i find and the problem that i'm going to be talking about today which may just be a little bit like oh god like amy like why even bother talking about this because it just annoys me so much justin's the way that he talks about his wife uh to youtube apparently like a family friendly channel there is nothing family friendly about the way this man talks about mahogany his wife there is absolutely nothing family friendly and i get that there is like a dynamic i get that you can have like a sexual flirty dynamic with your spouse like i i, I know that but the way that he goes on and on and on and she looks so uncomfortable. So there was this video, which I'm just going to flag up right here. I watched this video because they they have six children. Um, and to be honest with you, you don't really see a lot of them. Not the fact that I want to because I don't, I don't like family channels who exploit their shit, kids like that. However, I do find it quite strange how she has back to back to back to back to back pregnancies and you just don't even hear or see the other children i'm fairly sure according to a lot of mentors that they actually have a nanny um or someone to babysit their kids i mean they must do because you quite literally don't see or hear of them um ever and they're constantly going out anyway completely beyond the point they're basically, they basically came out with this video where they were saying um we're having problems with the newborn i mean this is what justin had to say and don't get me wrong like i've had i've, I've got two kids i've had two newborns before they're definitely a handful but he is literally saying this after already having like six children i just can't deal with it oh, stop. i don't know what it is i got five i got five kids and this one right here was out crying make it make sense he is really the birth control that's what we're gonna name him we're gonna name him birth control call him birth control in the comments we we get ready to have look, have a good time intimate time here he go crying I swear to you, this man will just objectify his wife in just pretty much any capacity. And I do know that obviously saying like, you know, we're, we're going to have some intimate time with like the little hip thrust, like he's quite literally 12. Um, I get that might be in jest with your wife, but like, why? And this is not the very first time. And I'm not the only person to talk about this. The amount of people that are like, what is what is your deal? And it's every single video he has talked about his wife's ass or he's talking about wanting to like do stuff. To, it's like, would you like a medal? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. And the thing is, is that this guy used to be a pastor. Like, and I wish I was joking. I'm literally not like in the church pastor like you know man of god person 
and um he literally he'll and i don't understand how those two things are compatible when he talks about his wife like that and then they're also just like cheating lying scammers over here on youtube the whole thing is very un ungodlike and this is coming from someone who is not religious my family is i'm not but i'm just telling you it doesn't just it does not add up it does not add up it does not add up or whatsoever here are just some snippets of the comments he made in this vlog alone so this is just one vlog and these are the comments that he made about his wife you need to find what kind of you need to find what kind of jeans that booty can fit that jean, that booty, you ain't wore jeans a long time. That booty, that... Yeah, okay, that booty didn't grow now. You might be at a chin. You might be at a good chin, baby. Yeah. Oh, that booty. I know how loose you like your jeans. Cause you probably still know. have trouble getting them in a regard. I don't probably, even know what I'm. You, mean you gotta do jumping jacks and everything. Get, get that that's booty in them. Good, I use that booty. That, that's, that's why I'm with it now. Six kids later. So. Uh, let's see if I can find some jeans. You may not like wearing jeans, but you need to start wearing jeans. I want to see what that booty look like <laughs> in the jeans. Cause some of them jeans be bringing, you know, it, them jeans. Be, some of these jeans look, look like you may have a BBL. I ain't seen you in the jeans in a long time. I might, I really might buy you a really. couple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not a jean wearer, so this is like. She gonna be a jean person today. Jeans. I like them. I think I like them. Okay, y'all. I, I, I yeah, like. It's like I think. I think I like them more, y'all. I, I like the jeans more, y'all. Cause them thing jeans looking. Look at them. They look good. Turn around, do a three sixty. Red day. Big that big P letter back there. Red day. I tell you, God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Put them on today. I said, glory to God. Oh. Y'all excuse me. Cause we're gonna take a commercial break. I'm gonna put him back in that. I'm gonna put you back in that truck. <sighs> Come on, Justin. Golly. Come on, I see you, Miss Jackson. Go on, pick him up. Great day, y'all. I was getting ready to start the video and I was like the camera, I hit the button and you already in position. I need to take that for a thumbnail. Okay, I am so sorry I had to subject you guys to that. It cringed me out as well, and it cringed me out having to put it into a compilation. But I swear down, like, Mahogany doesn't even look, like, happy when he's doing it. She looks annoyed that she just can't finish her sentence. And I just, it just falls under, like, sleazy objectifying, and I'm sorry. I do understand that some couples have that banter, but she just doesn't look very happy about it. I wouldn't be very happy about it. I don't know a lot of people that would be very happy about that and it's just really gross the way that he does it and he he does it a lot it's not the very first time that i've noticed him doing this to her um and it's just con consistent like it's constant it's consistent even the right word it's just all the time and it gets way too much and this is what some people had to say about it if my husband talked to me the way justin talks to her we would have a huge problem i know he is kidding but it's gross he needs some cold water to cool him off justin please lust after your wife in private it is just plain gross and not becoming to someone that says he is a pastor someone else said justin laughs like my auntie and he acts swishy washy too the men who brag exploit and make a big deal about sex capades and whatnot you got to wonder about them and this is kind of what i feel as well like i feel like people who kind of stand around and brag about this sort of thing especially to this level of literally it look it just looks like it's just objectifying your wife on the internet and she doesn't really look very happy about it and if i see i don't know i feel like i just i need to say something because it makes me really uncomfortable and it makes a lot of other people feel really uncomfortable too and this is such a minor thing when you look at the other the, the other things that are going on on their channel like like i already mentioned before the fact that they lie they literally boldface lie about things and they also lie about things for sponsorships as well like they did a sponsorship recently which was actually quite amusing to watch where mahogany was pretending to like gift justin this bike this this e-bike electric bike um and make it out like it was like a like a huge surprise when in actuality everyone in the comment section was pointing out the fact that um justin doesn't even really know how to ride a bike as he's already explained this 
Um, and when when it when the time came for him to actually like see this bike outside, it was extremely obvious that the person riding the bike wasn't even Justin. It was probably the guy that set it all up. Oh, well, I'm gonna go take it for a spin. Already, yeah, you yeah, excited? Go, 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 get on the body here. All right, baby. Right. <laughs> Y'all, as you can see, I'm in love with my bike. The rising and for fitness purposes like me. The design of the Urban Glide. I mean, that literally was not him. That guy that was riding the bike was not Justin. They had tattoos. They were slightly darker complexion. They must have literally have changed clothes. And also, it's a bit telling because they didn't look at the camera once. Honestly, literally, I'm just like, come on now. Like, at least actually try the product it's just infuriating but they do these little lies all the time because they think their audience is stupid and i think a majority of them are actually children which doesn't look very good when you then pair it with justin's sexual remarks every five minutes Oh, just got back in, y'all. I saw y'all there. He was on that eBay. I was riding and glad. I was riding and glad. Yeah, I'm nope. so happy. We were supposed to say that. You ready to go get in the shower, y'all? <laughs> Someone said there were so many clues that it wasn't Justin. The dude was darker in complexion and there was a tattoo on his lower right arm. He put on the same shoes and shorts as Justin and rode through the neighborhood. Justin talking about, phew, all that ride and I'm about to go and take a shower. He must have meant driving in the car recording his friend. And this is just like quite well and truly, it was just so obviously not Justin. And like I've already said, they do these kind of things all the time, like all the time. Like at the very beginning of that newborn video, you had Mahogany trying to convince everyone that this toaster she was trying to sell was such an amazing toaster because it toasts both sides of the toast. And I'm like, yeah, so like an ordinary toaster then? Anyway, I could just go on and on and on. But the focus of this video is just, yeah, I don't like the way that Justin talks about Mahogany. I find it ultra conflicting with the fact that he's meant to be this like ex-pastor and he's like a man of god and he's constantly talking about god but yet he makes these remarks about his wife to everyone else they lie they just i just i just can't get on board with them but it's like whenever they post a video you kind of want to watch it just to go and read the comments because a lot of people are not falling for them and i'm one of them i'm definitely not but what i do find entertaining about the whole thing is that many people will subscribe and then you then see comments of people then quickly realizing that these guys are just not honest it has a removable crumb tray which i really love anyway that's pretty much all i wanted to say i just felt like i had to rant after watching that video and i was like you know what like it's just not okay it's just not all right i don't feel like i should have to be subjected to this especially as mahogany doesn't look that happy about the comments either and i don't know i just think it's weird i think it's a really weird dynamic i would love to hear everyone else's thoughts and feelings on this from the supposed family pg pg 13 content that's been going on I don't know. I just want to hear your thoughts and feelings. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.